Now, in tonight's Education Watch 10, high-ranking Vigo County school officials say they will do their part to help offset the budget cuts. Superintendent Danny Tanus will announce in tonight's school board meeting he's not taking a planned pay raise. News 10's Dan Klein is live in the studio and he reports he's not the only one. Dan? Mark, that's exactly right. He's one of about 20 administrators in the central office who will not be taking a 1.6% pay increase they were due to get next year. Altogether, that adds up to about $35,000. Now, that's not a lot when you look at the $4.5 million the corporation is losing from its budget next year, but it's about the same amount as a first-year teacher's salary. We thought that would be an important way to show, although we're not asking anyone else to cut salaries or lay anyone off, or to uh, actually give money back, we felt it was a way to show uh, our leadership by saying, here's a way that we can save the school system money. News 10 has brought you several stories on other cost-cutting moves, including turning off some of the lights, cutting back on some assistant principal positions and moving them. And in two weeks, Danny Tanous will know just how many staff members will take advantage of a buyout. He's hoping for 60 teachers and a handful of higher-paid administrators with a targeted goal of saving $1 million. The rest of the cuts will be made by dipping into a savings fund. Tanous again reiterates, no layoffs are needed at this point, but if more cuts are needed in future years... It's possible that could happen. Back to you. Thank you, Dan. News 10 will be at tonight's school board meeting. We will have the latest for you on the story tonight on Nightwatch. And for more Education Watch 10 stories, go to our website, WTHITV.com.